What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense, and y'all, Funky Dineva then exposed the real reason that Jocelyn Hernandez got arrested, and it was not for fighting her former employee, Big Lex, and we got to talk about it. Like the video as the intro plays, because we got a lot to get into. Make it make sense. Oh, make no. it make sense. That's all. One and one got to equal two. Make it make sense. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, I, I love that. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, boo. Welcome, lurkers and all. What's up, everybody? So I will be needing a photographer tomorrow. If you know any photographers in Miami that might be available for a couple hours tomorrow, let me know. DM me at Make It Make Sense Now. But let's get into this. Y'all, Jocelyn then went back to jail. I'm sure you've seen the actual fight. I can't show it, but she went to jail for putting her paws on this lady, Big Lex, who was formerly on her show, Jocelyn's Cabaret. It's, it's been everywhere. Here's the deal. History repeats itself. This is Chanelica. Chanelica. <laughs> Was Jocelyn's fake name back in her old stripper days, pre-love and hip-hop, where you see Chanelica had gotten, you know, a little, got some bruises. We got some, Chanelica got beat up and went to jail. Jocelyn, you know, no bruises, but she definitely went to jail for fighting. And we got to talk about it. Everybody is thinking that this woman has gone to jail for putting her paws on Big Lex. That's not the case. And Funky Dineva was the one to expose it. And again, there is no love lost between Funky and Jocelyn. We'll get into that a little bit later. But check out what he had to say. I said, friend. Friend. I know you. You over 40, friend. This ain't what we doing. And my friend said the friend that he's talking about that he's called is Melissa, also from Love and Hip Hop, but I don't trust her either. And sis, she said, I was trying to break it up. And she said, you know, fuck, I hate cameras. Y'all ain't see all of it. She said she was trying to break it up. She said the camera did not catch the part where they was jumping Jocelyn when Jocelyn was by herself. And then my friend said, No, this part, I don't know if I believe. If you watch the video, Melissa was the little figure in blue, fighting, kicking, jumping in the fight. She only kicked the girl because the girl had bit her ankle. And she said, I was trying to break them up. And when the girl bit my ankle is when I started kicking her or whatever. Okay, then we see the girl in the silver dress throw a drink on Jocelyn. So everybody was like, that's bit Lex. That's bit Lex. Now, y'all know at my big age, I don't even know who the fuck bit Lex. The girl in the silver dress was not big Lex. She was somebody that Jocelyn just hit, allegedly, because Jocelyn saw her recording. And y'all can say what y'all want. Jocelyn says the other day was the first time that she had been on stage without doing drugs. I believe that that was the only day that she was not doing them. Just my opinion. Uh, because this gave me uh, a rager. This whole fight sequence gave me she was raging. Next is, I am assuming this is some of this Zeus stuff got going on. I saw something about the girl saying she in Miami all the time. Jocelyn could pull up. And I'm guessing that's what Jocelyn saw or heard. And she ran up on her ass behind that stage. Now, in a typical Zeus love and hip-hop fashion... You know, I thought perhaps the fight would have been the fight and that would have been the end of it. Later on that day, a mugshot get posted with Jocelyn looking all types of hungover, makeup all smeared, say Jocelyn has been arrested and charged with four charges. So here's where the T is, y'all. I called my friend. I said, friend, you not in jail, is you? My friend said, sis, no. My friend said, no, of course not, I'm home. And she said, believe it or not, Jocelyn is not in jail. Listen to me, y'all, because here is the tea. She said, Jocelyn is not in jail for the fight 
that we saw behind stage at the stadium. She said there was a separate incident that happened after that, that Jocelyn should have took her ass the fuck home, but she did not. My friend said she was home. She said Jocelyn did not go home. And as a result of the second incident that was not seen on camera, that's how Jocelyn caught them four charges. Now, he now y'all, <laughs> I totally believe this because when I looked at the charges, here they are. First off, it calls her race white. I don't know how that happened. Shout out to Storm T Storm and Roll TV. He has been definitely keeping his ear to the streets for this whole Jocelyn debacle. Um, case number one, touch or striking battery, domestic violence. Now that could have been ballistic. That could have been somebody else at the club. I think that she went somewhere after this because Zeus did not kick her out. And they almost looked like they were protecting her in the fight and letting her just attack all these people. And no, there were no Zeus cameras rolling. It, the only footage is from people's like cell phones. Second one, touch or strike battery. Could have been somebody else she hit. Um, trespassing, unoccupied structure or conveyance. That's why I'm thinking maybe they went to another club. Maybe this was at the airport because we saw that her and Ballistic did have a private plane to get to the fight. Uh, then resisting officer obstructed with violence. Y'all, she then put her hands on the police officer. But again, I'm not surprised. Like, this is what Jocelyn does. Jocelyn has been paid for her bad behavior all the way dating back to love and hip-hop. So if you have somebody who, you know, she's fueled by the D-word a lot of the time. Well, that could mean a lot of things, but you get the point. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me let you see Jocelyn in action when she went after Funky Dineva. And it was a lot of low blows. If you don't remember, this was a love and hip hop sequence. I watched this in real time. Funky Dineva used to be really cool with Mona Scott Young. He could be at all the reunions. And they even had him at this after show that Mona was trying out. This is when it really started to get bad for Jocelyn because her head got big. She felt like she's better than people. So she's making allegations about him, but just let us know that she's been doing that for the majority of her life. Let me put my banner up. <laughs> she said the other day, this was her first day performing without using the D word. So it's kind of like you're calling him out, but what about what you do? Also, this was also the time she's over here telling Stevie, she not gonna, I'm not going to go back to the club, Stevie. I'm not going to go back to the club, Stevie. But we're feeling bad for you. But the first chance you get, as soon as you get a little money, a little clout, you are doing all the same things that Stevie did to you. The pimp. I got bitches working for me and I and they gonna work for me forever. I was with because you know everybody assumed he was my pimp. So I guess she thought that she was gonna tell him and he was gonna beat my ass because she said so. Which was that's why after a while with her you just yelling in my face, I'm just like, is she dead serious right now? Mm -hmm. like, is she totally and she just kept she just kept walking away. That young lady was one of the girls from her cabaret. She was saying that she was going to get this girl's pimp to beat her up. I, I, this is why I can't get with Jocelyn. I really used to like Jocelyn. Jocelyn was like my favorite on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. But it happens time again. It happened with Nene. These people get bigger the show. They're rewarded for bad behavior. And then all of a sudden, the head is in a whole nother stratosphere. But this still is one of my favorite Wendy Williams scenes in life. 
Jocelyn versus Wendy is a classic example of Jocelyn thinking that she is bigger than what she is. We love you, but at the same time, you have to do better. You're not in a, you're not in an abusive relationship anymore. You don't deal with that man anymore. You should be in a better place. And when people come on your show, especially black culture, you should be nicer to us, the ladies. You should respect us. You should give us our flowers while we're here. And you should tell us how proud you are of what we've done in the streets. Well, my but let's juxtapose that to how Jocelyn treats people who work for her. I thought you were popping at me. Like, damn, is that serious right now? I know you ain't coughing at me. Note to self, never cough when Jocelyn's talking to you. Like, this is what she's given, but what she expects is the utmost respect, but you're not respectful of people. Jocelyn is going to run into the wrong one. Big Lex might not have fought her back. And when you're using the D word, you may not feel the licks, but she's going to come up on somebody who is going to put her in her place. I'm not proud of all. And what I've been through makes me even harder on young women. Like, you can do better. Now, can we get back to the show at hand? Can I see your shoes, please? If that's how you want to do them, Ms. Wendy. Yes, that's I how I want to do it. But you have nothing to say about what, what my feelings. I just said what I said. I think Jocelyn was using at this point as well. I don't apologize for anything. This is what I do. Let me see your shoes. Jocelyn, but you only do it, but you only do it for you only do it to the young black Spanish girls coming up. You don't do it to anybody else. I don't. No, you don't. You take it so much differently. That, that, first first of all, that, that's not Wendy gave it to everybody. Jocelyn, you do it for people of color. Jocelyn, it's true. It's true. Here, here's a flower. Come on. <laughs> Here's a flower. Loved it. But again, Jocelyn is something else. Jocelyn is definitely something else. Them the whole time, the producer on the phone. Y'all can do with that as you may. She got arrested for fighting a police officer and doing something else that is not involving Big Lex, which means that there could be additional charges. I would not be surprised if Big Lex lawyered up that night and is going to come after Jocelyn and Zeus and probably the event venue for allowing her to get attacked the way that she did, which means there will be more charges coming down the pike. But you guys tell me what you think. I'm going to see you guys later. Remember, follow me on Instagram and DM me if you know any available um, photographers in Miami. I'm going to see you guys later. Have a good one. Oh, make it make sense now. Have a good one.